Okay guys, welcome to the beach house. Today, we are at a very special place. Charlie just gave a clue. <laughs> so we're all ready. We have a friend here that is going to introduce his channel. We are doing a fun collaboration with him today. Let's introduce you to Clint. Insert clapping here. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Clint and our channel is Clint's Reptiles and what we really do is we try to help people pick the reptile pet that would be right for them. Maybe, maybe you don't even know if a reptile is right for you, but I can promise you they're way cooler than you ever imagined. We've got a few videos that really have helped a lot of people. One of them is called Five of the Best Pet Reptiles for Beginners. I've also got one about the best pet lizards, best pet snakes, best pet turtles, and then individual videos to teach you all about the care and the requirements of all these cool reptiles. We're gonna show you a whole bunch of them today. Stay tuned. Oh, so awesome. here and I just barely said to Charlie, hey, do you want to go meet some animals? And he said, yeah, eat animals. <laughs> do you want to eat or meet animals? Eat mammals. Eat mammals. He's going to eat some mammals, I guess. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This is Clint. Hi, Clint. Nice Hi. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Everybody's in the house, but they're all checking out the backyard, which makes me want to look. Ooh. Cool they have a lot of really cool it's fancy cool. stuff. I was watching some it's videos. Cool. Hey James, what do you think about holding a snake? <laughs> what do you think about holding a snake? No. Unless you wanted to. Bad. I love riding on pony. Okay. Go time. Hey ladies. James is backing up. <laughs> oh, you guys are so brave. Come sit. I'll bring her around so everybody can touch her. Charlie, come, Charlie, sit, down. come sit down and then you'll get to come touch it. Down, and then you get to touch bite? it. Okay. <laughs> No. Did you know that in Florida where I grew up, we used to catch snakes in our backyard all the time? And we used to own a, an iguana, and it was really mean, and it would whip its tail out. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> that is not a good pet reptile. That's why we have this channel. <laughs> that actually reminds me, because in Florida, I saw a lot of snakes too. But one time I was on the beach, on the boardwalk, and there was a big red snake, like really big, that was just crossing the path, and I got really scared. I think it was a coral snake or something? Red snakes? Not a coral snake. It was like almost, it was the color of coral. I did I did uh, find a coral snake in my front yard. It was already dead though and there were ants on it, but I found a coral snake when I was mowing my front yard uh, in Florida. <laughs> and I froze it, I coiled it up and I froze it and I kept it in my freezer for years. <laughs> Cool. That Michael, awesome that's fun. weird. <laughs> Mom do it. She's a good sport. That's true. Your mom would probably have done that herself anyway. <laughs> she she's a very hippie. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this game? Yeah. yeah. This game yeah. is called Snake or Lizard. Okay, so here I've got a thing. What is it? Snake or lizard? What do you think? Snake. Snake. Okay, how can you tell it was a snake? Because it has a long, long body. A long, long body. And because it has a long tongue and it slithers. It has a long tongue and it slithers. Why does it slither? It has no legs. <laughs> it has no legs, <laughs> excellent. 
So this is Buttercup, and Buttercup is a gopher snake. Oh, ah. She is probably the nicest snake I've ever seen in my entire life. Snakes, for some reason, don't like to get poked in the face, which is weird because, like, I heard Corbin loves it. Is that true? You love getting poked in the face? No? You don't like it when Charlie just comes into your room in the morning and pokes you in the face for a while? <laughs> Charlie, do you like poking Corbin in the face? Yeah. yeah. But James, he likes getting poked in the face, right? You're the one that I was thinking of. No? Ellie, do you like getting poked in the face? Snakes don't like getting poked in the face either for some reason. And they really hate this. And Buttercup's the nicest snake I've ever seen, ever. How ever. old is Buttercup? I don't even know how old Buttercup is. Can you oh, show what you did her. one more time? I've had Buttercup, she's actually the reptile I've had the longest. Sit down. Cool. A lot of people think that snakes are slimy. Okay, so I want you to check and see if she's slimy or not. <laughs> you don't have to touch her. But she's super nice. She's very sweet. Ellie, if I touch her, will you touch her? Just touch her with one finger. <laughs> Just touch it, like, just like that. Charlie's like giggling so excited. <laughs> You're gonna like this. Good job. Is she slimy or dry? She's dry. She's dry. Very smooth. A crazy thing that people don't know about reptiles is that they're dry. Reptiles don't make any slime at all. In fact, you make more slime than reptiles do. If you touch a snake and it feels slimy, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you slimy? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. I like a frog. I like a frog. Okay, snake or lizard? Lizard. Lizard. How could you tell? Has legs. Has legs. Right. This is an easy game. Uh huh. This is an easy game. This is a bearded dragon, and it is a lizard, and they come from Australia. And does it look like it's soft or spiky? Spiky. It is pretty spiky, right? It's not quite as spiky as she looks, though. If you feel her, she's actually she's not quite soft, but she's not quite as spiky and mean as she looks. But when she gets scared, she puffs up really big. She's got all those spikes on her, and she looks like something that'd be really difficult to swallow. <laughs> like a pine cone. Have you ever thought about swallowing a pine cone? No, me either. And she goes, you don't want to try to swallow me. I'd be horrible to eat. <laughs> Do you guys see right here on her head, she's got a little hole. What is that? That's her nose. You guys are good at this game. <laughs> so she, do you have holes like this in your head too? No. You don't have a nose? Do you have ears? Yeah. Ah, so you guys are built a lot like a bearded dragon. <laughs> a bearded dragon, when they, when they want to show how tough they are and they want to scare somebody away, they go like this. Can you be a tough bearded dragon? Let me see it. I figured you could do it. When, <laughs> when they want to show another bearded dragon that they're not scary, that they don't want to fight, another bearded dragon goes, mm, and they go, oh, oh, I don't want to fight that guy. He's huge. <laughs> what they'll do is they'll wave. Can you guys oh, wow. show that you don't want to fight? Oh, you're good. You're good. This is not the bearded dragon you're looking for. <laughs> this is not the bearded dragon. Exactly right. I've even seen them do it with both arms at once. And they like, really <laughs> Oh, please. Please don't fight me. That was excellent. That was so good. You're the best bearded dragon ever. All right, I'm going to put it away. I'm going to get something else for you. You guys ready? What do you guys think so far? It's snake or a lizard? Which one did you like touching better? The snake or the lizard? Snake. What about you? Snake. What about you? Snake. The snake is soft. What did you think, Ellie? She only, she only touched the lizard. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think's coming next? Next, make a guess. <gasps> it's jumping around. A frog? I bet it might be a frog. Yeah, it's a it frog. Is. It's jumping around. It got loose. Wait, this we have a loose Harry animal. Potter. Isn't there like loose animals in Harry yes. Potter? And I'm pretty sure his name is Neville Longbottom over there, and he's lost his toad. Oh. What? Is snake or lizard? That? Did you know that anything with a tail can lose its tail? Oh, what about a snake? It's all one big tail. <laughs> wow, we'll talk about snake tails here in a minute. Let me ask you this. If a dog is laying down on the driveway and a car runs over its tail, what will happen to it? Die. Die. What will happen to that tail? It'll come off, right? Funny thing about lizards is that a lot of lizards can decide, you know, I think my tail should just fall off now. And they've got special muscles that they can just go 
And off goes their tail, and then guess what the tail does? It flops around like crazy. And then it regrows another lizard onto it. Just kidding, it doesn't. That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Some animals can do that, like starfish. Oh yeah, that's weird. If you cut a starfish right through the middle, and it survives it, it'll grow into two starfish. No big deal. Wow. But lizards don't do this. Some lizards <laughs> can grow their tail back. Some, like this one, will never grow it back. This is a crested gecko, and they don't grow their tails back. But this guy just decided one day, hey, you know what? I don't want to have any more. My tail and just popped it off and that tail flopped all over the place. Now that's a weird thing to do, right? If you could make your arm just pop off and then flop around, would you ever do it? No. <laughs> no. That's a weird thing to do. But what if a bear was chasing you? You throw your arm at it? So that the rest of your body could live? And you pop your arm off and your arm flops around, what are you gonna do while your arm's flopping around? Run away. Run away. <laughs> The bear's gonna try to be eat distracted. By It'll be distracted by your arm and you'll get away and you'll be like, <laughs> it's a weird thing to do, but it works. <laughs> Sometimes that's what matters most. Geckos also have kind of a superpower because they can walk right up walls and stuff. A lot of them can. Whoa. They've got these special toe pads. I don't know if you can get a good shot of this. Let me try to. Huh? Look at those, look at those toe pads. And each one of them is covered in tiny, tiny, tiny little hairs. They're not like mammal hairs, but they're like little hairs. And each one of them has really bad split ends. And because of that, they actually get like a charge and so they actually sort of become part of the wall or the glass or whatever they're running up. And wow. they go right up the wall, some of them can go right across the ceiling. Wow. They're amazing. Can That's we why. try and make it climb on the wall? We can give it a whirl. Walls, they actually do better on glass than they do on walls sometimes. Whoa! Holy cow! Holy cow! <laughs> In a wall? Look at, look at that. It's like a spider lizard. Can you imagine doing that? Hey, Charlie, can you do that? Can you climb on the wall? Hold on to the wall. Spider Charlie, spider Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I was a spider. <laughs> this guy is really small and he's kind of delicate, but I think I can trust you guys. If you're all sitting down, <gasps> that you can touch him really. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Really soft. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. Here, Charlie, you sit here. down. James, have a try. Aww. How long can I want to try. They can live about 15 years, maybe even wow. longer. Oh, wow. Until the early 1990s, they thought that they were extinct. Oh, wow. And then they discovered some. So we really haven't been keeping them in captivity that long to know exactly how long they can live. Something different. Okay. Oh, wow. Snake or lizard? Lizard. How can you tell it was a lizard, not a snake? Yeah, it, it, has, it has a tail. It has a tail? Do snakes have tails? It has legs. I like legs. It has legs, right? This is an easy game, still an easy game. This is a Euromastix. Oh, the tail looks so scary. And these come from Africa, and that tail does look scary. We should talk about why that tail looks like that. Uh, you so know what, that reminds guys. me of a dragon from Harry Potter. Oh, oh yeah, totally. what's that dragon's name? I don't know. <laughs> We'll make one up. Okay. It reminds you of Quelflor, the dragon. Yes, the yeah. spiky tail the monster. The spiky tail Quelflor. <laughs> <laughs> this Euromastix, if it gets scared, it's gonna run and it's gonna wedge itself in a hole. And all that you're gonna be able to grab onto is oh. the tail. Oh. How does that taste? Yes. Ouch. Anybody wanna bite that? No. no, that looks horrendous, right? It's like a pine cone. But you can feel him. The rest of him is really soft. You're doing great, Ellie. It feels like it's a kind of fabric. Did you get to feel it already? I want to feel it. Is that a pretty cool creature? It feels like it's a kind of fabric. Mm. Uh -huh. So they don't mind just being in those dark cases, huh? Yeah, I was well, wondering about I that. I keep them in here all the time. Most reptiles, especially snakes, the world is kind of a scary place. Think about it. Like if you were a noodle with a head, <laughs> The world's a scary place. <laughs> and so snakes don't really like to be out in the open. They like to be somewhere where they're down in a hole most of the time, and they're just hiding and hoping nothing finds them and eats them. And they only go outside when they really, really have to. And so they're actually a lot more comfortable in something like this than if I threw them out in the middle of this room. I like so that's cool. snails. You like snails? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. Down <laughs> Go sit down. <laughs> so when I was a kid, we would catch snakes. We would also catch little lizards that were everywhere in Florida. The gnolls? Yeah, gnolls. We would catch a million of those and we'd put them in, the, in a big container with the snakes that we would catch and, the, and we'd watch the snakes and the snakes would eat them. And it was really fun to watch the snakes eat the lizards and then swallow them. So I've caught one of them. Cool. Actually, two. <gasps> Look, another one. Another Whoa. Snake or lizard? Snake. How can you tell? Snake. 
has no legs. legs. I know, it is an easy that, game. That face is interesting. This is a fun. funny face. I've got two yeah. of these. <laughs> this one is it's like a little stub face. <laughs> this one is dark side. And she's she's dark side because she's super dark, but I had to name her something related to the force because she's got a perfect Jedi symbol on her head. My other one's name is Shovel Face. <laughs> Try to guess why. It looks oh. like it's like okay, this is the pug of snakes. Oh absolutely. This is the goofiest thing. It's like face. it ran into a wall. <laughs> I love hot nose snakes. They're so funny. Uh, Shovel face is a good name for a hognose snake. In fact, for a lot of hog snakes. Hognose snake, that's what this is. Because guess what it does with that face? Oh, cool. hey, sit down, sit down. So you could dig. So you could dig. That's one of the things that snakes are really good at. If you think about it, when you have no legs, you're not very good at running. Is that fair to say? <laughs> you have no legs, you can fit places that you couldn't fit if you had legs. And so snakes are really good at fitting into holes and digging, but they gotta dig with their face. Now I wanna ask you some questions. If you had to dig all day long with your face, would that be comfortable? <laughs> Where do you think you might get dirt that you wouldn't want dirt? In your nose, so all day long you'd be going. Where else would you get dirt that you wouldn't want dirt? In your mouth. In your mouth, so what would you do with your mouth? You would spit it out. Well, you might go all day long. Would there be another way you could keep dirt out of your mouth? You could close it. Close your mouth! Mm. And you'd probably want to have some lips, right? What? Have you guys ever noticed that a crocodile doesn't have any lips? All day long, it's just like, ah! <laughs> Where else might you get dirt that you wouldn't want dirt? In your ears. In your ears. So, how would you want your ears to be different? Having little teensy holes. Little teensy holes? Might you still get dirt in those little teensy holes? Yeah. How might you keep all the dirt out of your ears? Do what? Have no holes. Having no holes at all. Do you see any holes for ears? On this snake? That's I don't see anything. <laughs> snakes don't have any ears. All snakes don't hear? All snakes, they don't have any ears. Oh. Can they hear? That's a great question. They can hear a little bit. They can't hear very well. What they can hear, have you ever been to a loud rock concert or something where you can feel it? They can feel like that through their jaw, Vibration. but they can't hear very well. Where else do you think you might get dirt that you wouldn't want dirt? In your eyes. In your eyes. So what would you want to do with your eyes? Close them. Close them. Now, what's the problem with doing this? You can't see. You can't see anything. So, how would you want your eyelids to be different so you could close your eyes and still see? Glare. Wow. What'd you say? Glare. Glare? <laughs> well, what do you mean by glare? You mean squint your eyes? Squint. Well, if I squint, then I'm still going to get dirt in my eyes. But I want to keep them closed, but I still want to see. So, maybe you could put some goggles or something on? <laughs> what if your eyelids were clear like goggles? What? So I could see right through them. Would that be good? Good. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Snakes, if you notice. Do they watch have it. like things that go over their eyes? Well, not only do they have things that go over their eyes, they can't open their eyes. Snakes' eyes are closed always. Really? <laughs> really, really. No. Their eyelids are clear so they Whoa. can see right through it. I can't see their eyes. So if you have a staring contest with a snake, I'm not sure if you win or lose, but it happens <laughs> real fast. <laughs> So they have built-in yeah, goggles. Cool. They have built-in goggles. Are you having fun, Charlie? Yeah! Snake or lizard? Oh! Whoa! Wow. Is this how bind What did you guys decide? Snake or lizard? That's so fat! Snake! <laughs> snake! You're right, this is a snake. How could you tell it was a snake? Because it has no legs. Well... And it has... And it's really, really... It is really, really long, but it does have legs. <gasps> What? It's if you look right there and right there, there's a little claw. Do you see those? Okay. Those no way. are little claws. This snake has got some legs. No way. But this is a snake. So what else do I look for to make sure it's a snake? <laughs> Clear eyelids and they never blink. Yeah. And you'll notice yeah. she never blinks. That is probably the weirdest looking snake that I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, earlier you guys were talking about the tail of a snake and how long the tail is. And how long did you guys think it was? Long or short? Long. Long, right? Probably just like a head and then tail. <laughs> now let me ask you this. Where does the tail start? Does it start before or after the legs? After the legs. Well, the legs were right here, so how long is the tail? <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny little tail. Snakes have really short tails. Wow. What does that mean the rest of them is? The body. That's the body. Wait, now, so does this, do all snakes have those little claw things? Not all snakes have legs. She's a python. Oh! And all pythons and all boas have got those legs. So remember, snakes don't have legs unless they do. 
Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. Got another creature over here. Okay. Snake. snake? How can you tell? It has, no it has no legs. Perfect. Now, to make sure it's a snake, what else do I look for? Something with no its ears. No ears. Okay, I want you to look on the side of its head. Does it have any ears right there? It looks like gills. What is that little hole? Uh, that's an ear, so that's odd. It's odd that it's got an ear, but that's okay. But what else do I look for to make sure it's a snake? Huh? Its eyes are closed and its eyes Perfect, so it never blinks. So let's watch its eyes for a minute. Is it looking at you? Oh, what the? Did you see that? It blinks. Uh, that's odd. Do you remember anything about the tail of snakes? It's very short. Well, the tail on this starts right there. Oh, wow. And it could drop all of this anytime it wants to. Whoa. That would be a really weird looking snake after that. What is this? I think I might know what that is. It's a lizard. Is that a glass lizard? It, some people call it that. That's this a, is a European legless lizard. Okay. But it's the same, same name? Or is well, glass lizard a, just a slang term? Yeah. It's okay. basically for any lizard that can just start falling. Because if all that fell off, uh -huh. you'd go, well, oh, that whole animal was made out of glass. Yeah. <laughs> we used to catch glass lizards in Florida. And that's a different kind. There okay. are so many lizards that have lost that, their legs. And that have no legs. And they go legless. <laughs> and snakes are just one of them. But these, this is not a snake. What is it? A lizard. Wow. Now what's wrong with it? It doesn't have legs. So remember, lizards always have legs unless... They don't. Yeah. <laughs> unless they don't. Is this the worst so reptile presentation you've ever seen? <laughs> you came here, you totally knew the difference between a snake and a lizard. Now you're like, uh, okay, well, snakes, they don't have legs unless they do, and lizards have legs unless they don't. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the difference is between a snake and a lizard, but you do. What is the difference between a snake and a lizard? That it's my eyes are seen. Okay, that its eyes are closed and its eyelids are clear. That'd be a snake, right? What else? Yeah. Ears. If it has ears, what is it? It's a lizard if it has ears. Lizard. Oh. <gasps> what? Whoa. Look at how many of you see that. Look at how many of you see that. So what is it? Snake or lizard? Turn lizard. Look at that. Lizard, how could you tell? <laughs> it has a long tail. It has a long tail. Good. That's a great observation. It's a giant. Have you ever asked yourself why do they have a forked tongue? If he sticks his tongue out, what's he doing? Licking. Why would he lick? Why is he licking the air all the time? Mm. He's smelling, right? And if he sticks his tongue out and tastes a little bit more something yummy on this side than this side, what's he going to do? He's going to go that way. He's going to go that way. He sticks it out again, still a little bit more on this side than this side. What's he going to do? Go the other side. Still a little bit more? Follow it? Then he sticks it out and he gets the same amount on both sides. What's he going to do? He's going to go straight. Go straight because, because he's got that fork in there, he can tell what direction yeah. things are. This is Gus Gus. <laughs> and Gus Gus is an Argentine black and white tegu. Tegus are some big old lizards, aren't they? They're also one of the smartest lizards in the world and they're the only lizard we know that can warm its body up using energy from food. Wow. Just to wreck your day a little more. Just like people. <laughs> they can use energy from food to heat their body up and not just the sun. I would like to have that lizard for a pet. He's amazing. He's like a big a lizard puppy. And we've got a whole video about how, what you would need to do to prepare and decide if this would actually be a good pet for you. Look at its feet, Michael. It's like, checking out the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Coming closer. Uh, he can. But he's he's like a puppy. He's like a big reptile. He's just puppy. curious. Can it lose its tail. It can. All right, you guys ready for the last one? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness, Michael, look how big it is. Okay. Ooh. So what is it? And this snake was born. Didn't hatch out of an egg. This is a Central American boa. Now that you've seen all the animals, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go downstairs and we're, I'm gonna teach you all how to hold them. Whoa. So you're all gonna get to hold cool reptiles. Are you excited about that? Yeah. And we're gonna have a whole video about this on our channel on Clint's Reptiles. And we'll have a link to it right there. And so you can check that out and we'll see you in a few minutes. All right. Are you guys excited? Yeah. <laughs>